Hi guys, How, how's your day going? I'm here just, you know, rocking my cool, uh, badass Jim Lee, Jim Lee X-Men t-shirt. I, I love this thing because, you know, to be honest with you, Jim Lee is probably, you know, with the exception of guy, legends like John Byrne, Jack Kirby, Dave Cockrum, and John Byrne, Jim Lee is the best X-Men artist from the 90s. He is the best. I mean... I wish he would come back to the X-Men, but, you know, it's wishful thinking. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to, you know, hold on to that forever. But yeah, speaking of X-Men, um, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because I've just heard, I just heard the news that it's possible uh, that Professor X and Charles Xavier could be black. <sighs> I, you know, and I'm going to say this. I've been a big X-Men fan since the 90s, the late 80s or the mid, no, not the mid, not the late 80s, but I've been a big X-Men fan. I've been an X fan of the X-Men from the 80s to the to, to today. And uh, I love, I love the concept. I think the thing of it was Stan Lee, when he created the X-Men, he created the X-Men, um, well, he, well, the leader, leaders of the, 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 uh, he created Professor X and uh, Magneto. He based them off of um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. So Professor X is his characteristics, his mindset of peace, working alongside humans is right up there with, you know, Malcolm, not Malcolm, sorry, getting that mixed up. Dr. King where, hey, you know, Dr. King believed in, you know, peaceful coexistence with with. Uh, with with white with white people, it, he believed in integration and, and everything. He wanted to, well, at first he did, but he just wanted he wanted peace and harmony between between the races. He wanted to end he wanted to end end racism in, to some degree. While Malcolm X did, you know, he was the kind of guy he he was he was the guy that just didn't. He didn't believe in peaceful co a peaceful coexistence with white people because he thought they were all the devil or what, and, and so forth, and that was and he inspired a fictional character in Magneto. You know, you don't believe me? You know, hey, I don't know if you don't believe that. I don't know what to tell you because you know Stan Lee has mentioned that a few times. I think one of the editors back then of the X Men back running on the X Men comics it said that at some point or the writers. So yeah, I think that's pretty valid. But getting to what I wanted to talk about, getting to getting to my real point of the issue, yeah, as much, I mean, as much as I would love to see Professor X and Magneto end up as black characters, I don't think that's a good idea, and, and I'm not, and I'm not putting it down just for the sake of, you know, just putting, you know, just uh, making certain people certain people in the sectors of uh of being you know comic book fandom happy because some of them are a little uh un, some of them not all of them not all of them but some of them are a little bit off their rockers and they just have reasons to hate things just for the sake of hating things but i got to say that i i'm not on board with this because yeah <sighs> being the X Men already the X Men already deal deal with all kinds of issues of racism and bigotry, so yeah. I mean, I, I just don't know if that's a good idea just to go ahead and make Charles Xavier and uh, Eric Eric Lyncher Magnus black. I don't or you know I don't know if that I don't think that's I don't think that's a good idea. I don't even think it's a great idea. Now, I heard that. Malcolm, not Malcolm, I keep saying Malcolm. Now, I heard that uh, Denzel Washington could be tapped to place, you know, to play, to play, uh, prof not Professor X, but he could be, he's, he's, he could be chosen to play Magneto. And you know what? To be quite fair, to be quite honest, you know, just, just, just for laughs, just not, you know, just for laughs or whatever. And I, I was totally on board with this. You know what? I could agree. I could. I could see, I could totally see Denzel Washington playing Magneto. Just, 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 just hang on. I could see him playing Magneto because 
when you when you think about it, back in the um, early '90s when there was a Malcolm X movie out there, he nailed that character. He played Malcolm X perfectly. He played Malcolm X perfectly with the militant mindset and everything, and he just made it believable. If he could pull that off, I know. If he could pull off playing, um, he he could play, he could pull off playing Malcolm X. Guess what? I know that he could pull off playing Magneto. I know that he can because actually that's it's it's almost pathetic. But as much as I would love to see that, and part of me would love to see it, I don't think it's a great idea because you know I think we should just leave it alone. I think I really think that we should just leave. Charles Xavier and Magneto as white characters. I think we should, you know, if we want to create, um, if we want to create characters that are a lot like the X Men, I think we should, you know, we should we should have our own, uh, we should have our own original creations, inspired, you know, heavily inspired by the X Men, and and we can make them black. Now, I did, I vaguely remember hearing about Stan Lee wanting he Stan Lee actually wanting the X-Men to be black at some point but he just couldn't do that it, I think he said that uh that the sales the, the sales weren't going to work or something like that I don't know but I do but I I most definitely I I'm pretty sure I heard heard something about him wanting to you know when the X-Men were in the, were in their infant stages before they I think before they got um before they saw print in the comics he wanted them to be black, but it just didn't work. Or, you know, someone told him, hey, that just that, that just isn't going to work. But either way, I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, I, I don't have a problem with I don't really have a problem with some characters being, um, you know, being being like, of you know, some characters being established or whatever. Well, not uh, what am I saying? I mean, I'm trying to my I'm collecting my thoughts and I'm just going off. You know. But yeah, I'm cool with a Miles Morales character because see that and, and the reason why I'm saying this is because Miles Morales is a fresh new character. He didn't he wasn't created to take the place. He wasn't he wasn't I don't he I don't really believe he was created to take the place of Peter Parker because you know they didn't make Peter Parker black. They just created another black character. They created a, a character, a black character, and made a fresh, a fresh new Spider Man. If people had a problem with, with um, Spider Man being of another race or another gender, you know what? You know something. They should have been. They should have been concerned about this a long time ago when Jessica Jessica Drew was made in into Spider Woman. It's just my honest opinion. Jessica Drew was and, and and or still is spider woman and that was back in the 70s so if you've got a problem with that hey I, I don't know what to tell you but you know to some degree i really can't agree with what you how i can agree to on to some degree i can agree with how the fanboys feel until it gets to it until it gets until it gets to something extreme but yeah i think i think for the i think for for the record just create fresh, new, create fresh new characters. If you want to, if you want to have, if you want to create new characters that are heavily inspired, that are inspired by uh, established characters, established iconic superheroes or whatever, that's fine. I, I don't really have a problem with that either. But it just has to be, you know, just trying to, just trying to blackface them. I don't think that's a great idea, you know. And this is, you know, but this is, but that's, the, but the thing, the thing about it is, the reason why I. I'm okay with it. Is I'm I'm okay with you know some established characters remaining the way they are, is because for for one thing, as much as much of a fan, as much of a fan as I am of these of, all, of of comics and everything else. Guess what? I'm not. I don't feel the need to blow a gasket when the when the race of a character gets changed or the sex of a character gets gets changed. As I've said before, it comes down to quality. It comes down to the quality of the character and and the stories the stories that are told about the character. If the quality is not there, then that that's a serious problem. I don't I don't know if anyone will ever I don't know if everyone will ever truly understand it, but it should always come down to the quality, not not the 
you know, just not shock value. You know, and I said in a while back, I was kind of okay with the fact that Ariel was black. Ariel from the Little Mermaid was turned black. But, but like I said, I it, you know, but then again, when I said when I said something like that, I don't follow the Little Mermaid. So technically, I really didn't have a problem with it. You know, I follow the X Men, and I and because I follow the X Men, I kind of sort of do care. <laughs> <laughs> if they if they if they get changed if they get changed racially or whatever you know but i think i mean i don't know i'm i'm just i'm trying not to be all over the place here all over the place here with all this but at the same time i'm not coming out here rant i'm not trying to come out here ranting about how terrible this is that that charles the professor x and magneto got changed racially i like i said i follow it and as much as I follow it, hey, you know, I don't really have like hatred towards the people who who um, who have the need to do this. I think it's a little misguided, but hey, it's whatever. It's 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 whatever. You know, I hope I I hope anybody that watches this understands it. But you know, I everything that I'm saying, I you know, I've pretty much mean I've meant, but. Hey, you know, you, you be the judge, you do whatever, or, you know, either way, I don't care because it's, you know, it's my personal view, pers personal view of all this, but either way, I just hope that, I just hope there's quality that's, there's consistent quality here. Thank you.